Ale... Ale... Takashi Murakami. Takashi 69. It is time for you to stop playing gangster. It is time for Takashi 69 to stop playing gangster. I'm gonna say it again for you in case you're slower, because I know you are slower, okay? Takashi 69 Hernandez or whatever your name was. It is time for you to stop playing gangster. Is that clear? My hairline is horrible. So for y'all that keep making comments in the, in, the, in the comment section about my hairline, let me tell you something. You 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 skipped over the whole facts that I'm spinning over your head, and you focus on my hairline. Congratulations, bravo, good job, fantastic work, amazing. I, however, got a bone to pick with Takashi Six Nine. Now, you guys want to talk about Culture Vulture? I got a Culture Vulture for you. You guys say that Adam-22 is a Culture Vulture. And I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't disagree with you, really, to a, to a certain degree. Adam-22, actually, I disagree with that. Adam-22 is a Culture Vulture. Why? Because he profits off of black pain? I profit off of black pain too. So does a deeds academics. So does a Vlad TV. But at the same time, he he's allowed a lot of black people to prosper and feed their entire families. Not just as interviewees, but also as 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 a part of his employees, such as a house phone, such as an A D. But here's my issue. Adam-22 is not using black culture like a toy. Adam-22 is not feeding onto the problem. He might, he, might, he might cover and give it light, sure, but that's his job. That's what he does as a reporter. That's always been his job. However... As a rapper, when you decide to come in, see a lot of people love to play black until it's time to be black. <laughs> and we let a lot of these clowns into the culture. Thing is, I used to like 6 9 once upon a time. Yeah, I know. Wow. I used to like him. When, when he came up, everybody had the colored hair. He decided, you know what? I'm going to put all the colors. And he went against the grain and, and, and everybody came up hating on him. I see myself for that. So I was rooting for dude. This whole gangster and putting packs on people's heads and whatever. I wasn't for, for that, but I, I like the dude in terms of his music, in terms of his come up. But later down the road, my opinion started to change. 6 9 it's time for you to stop playing gangster. Because the whole world at this point knows you're not a gangster. You're better off trying to spread a positive message. Again, like I've said in the last video, if I was you and I got put in a position where I had to rat out or snitch or whatever you want to call it on fellow uh, uh, gang members, right? You're a person that got to see the negatives of this gang life. You're a person who's gotten to experience how, how, how harmful this gang life is, right or wrong. You went to jail for it, right or wrong. You sacrificed your quote-unquote homies, right or wrong. That's all, that's all, that's all, that's none of my business. My thing is this. You got to experience all this harm, right? Yet you choose to come on and promote this harm to, let's be honest, black kids. First of all, 
I know you're Mexican and you're proud to be Mexican, which is great. If you did what you did in Mexico, you would have ended up in them cartel videos. So let's not play like you. What you did is okay. Oh, what it is, what it is. It's okay, sure. I'm not. I'm a civilian, but by your own codes and morals, it's 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 not okay. By your own logic, not mine. But here's my thing. Again, I'm a civilian. I don't gang bang. I'm not in a gang. I don't want to be in no gang. I don't move by gang laws. I don't care about gang politics. I'm just going off of your logic. I'm playing devil's advocate. Hear me out. As someone who snitched, ratted publicly, proud of it, tattletales, can't you at least try to spin this off as something positive? Not for your sake, although it will be beneficial for you, but for the millions of kids that look up to you, dummy. Stupid. Like you say, stupid. <laughs> Wouldn't it be? Tell me, if I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. Because it baffles me. It brings me, it brings me a headache to see you go in and snitch and come out. Yet, you're not trying to accept who you are. You're not trying to realize who you are. You're a civilian. You're a civilian. You're not trying to accept the fact that you're a civilian. Instead, you're trying to come out and promote the same BS that put you in the same stupid predicament in the first place. When I see PNB Rock pass away, whatever y'all had going on while y'all was alive, instead of you paying respects to a fellow colleague who called you a rat while you was alive, yes, which is true. I mean, you, you, you know you're a rat. If someone tell me, AK, you got a bad hairline, and they pass away, I'm not going to go trying to clown their death because they said I had a bad hairline. I do have a bad hairline. It is what it is. But you are sitting there trying to play this gangster persona. I don't know if you're trying to fool the fellow, the, the, the few viewers or few loyal fans you got left. Or what it is. I really don't know. But nonetheless, seeing you clown a fellow colleague of yours, a black one, rather, it, it's very distasteful. And this is not me trying to come at 6'9". You might be like, AK, hey, man, you're racist, man. You're coming at 6'9". Why? Is it because he's Mexican? He's not allowed to clown? No. If you've watched the video I did on Quan uh, not Quan on Fulio, I gave Fulio a piece of my mind. I call him a human centipede, a human cockroach. He do look like the cockroach, and he's seen it. And he's as black as they come. So this is not about race. However, race is a factor. That's because at least when, when, when a black man does it to another black man, you can he still knows it's wrong to a degree. But when you got someone who's so disconnected from, from, from the nonsense, and, and, and they just feel like, ah, oh, you passed away, rest in peace. Hmm? He died, he passed away over waffles. Hmm? That's your contribution to the world? You're not a gangster. You're a civilian. Act like the civilian you are. Acknowledge the fact that you ratted and by your own logic, not mine, I'm a civilian. Your own logic, you are, uh, hey guys, I don't gang bang. But by your, man, if you went to Mexico, if you went to Mexico where you from and you did, if that situation played out in Mexico, you would have ended up on one of them cartel videos. So don't tell me about, I don't care if you snitch. I don't gang bang with you. It's none of my business. I'm just looking at the situation here. I'm seeing a guy who went through all this snitched. So he's, we know for sure he's not, not you no know, gangster. Yet he's still coming on to clown the passing and say distasteful things in the midst of grieving families. As if he's some type of big mob boss. Shut up. 
Nobody wants to hear it, especially nobody wants to hear it coming from you. Because we know you're not a gangster. I used to like 6 9 But the more I started to realize his character, you know, you've got that one kid in, in school who always used to, um, he, he, was a, he was a tough kid, but he was only tough with people who were uh, weaker than him, like a, like a medium bully, not the big size bully, a medium bully. He'd pick on people weaker than him or, or cornier than him. For example, you're not a gangster. Again, I say it again. Yet, you choose to play gangster, not with gangsters, <clears throat> with YouTubers like Steve will do it. Hey, man, I'm just a white dude, man. Steve will do it, man. And you choose to have him, knowingly or unknowingly, I don't know, set up Perkyo, who's a comedian at that, a young dude who barely speaks English. You choose to put him in a situation. I don't blame Perkyo. I blame you. You have taken advantage of Steve Will Do It. Someone who is far away from, 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 the, from the poisonous culture that you carry your, with you, trying to live your life by. Poisonous. Perkyo, man. Perkyo's a nice dude, man. Who would hurt Perkyo, man? This is Perkyo. He barely speaks English, man. You're an immigrant too. You're Mexican. I'm an immigrant too. Even if I wanted to play gangsta and do what you did, I wouldn't do it with Perkyo. You want to play gangsta? Go pick a gangsta and play gangsta with him. That, that, then, 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 then play gangsta. But don't play, pick Perkyo, a comedian. Steve will do it, a YouTuber. A white YouTuber. Play gangsta with gangsters. That's what a gangster does. These guys don't. Do you you almost destroyed Perkyo's career for a few for a little viral moment online, so you can get some cool points and seem gangster to people that know you're not a gangster. You're a snitch. You're a rat. You're a federal informant. Stop trying to play gangster. Stop trying to promote a gangster lifestyle to black kids. Go promote it in Mexico. See if they don't get your head on a silver platter. Sent back to your family in a box. I'm sick of it, man. And y'all y'all love it. I went, I see on my social media. Anyone I see play 6 9 song, share a 6 9 song, try to justify him snit, I block them. And I'm no gangster. It's just them if you if you identify with that, I don't want you in my life, man. Straight up. Because until when we gonna allow these harmful, and this is this is the real culture vulture. This is someone who views black culture and black people as tools to come up. When we watch Gummo, I don't see Mexican cholos behind you. I don't see essays and what's going on, fool. I don't see Mexicans. I see hell of black people with red flags. Am I lying? You tell me if I'm lying. And when the tough gets, when the times get tough, what you do? You take these same black people that helped you rise into prominence and fame in what? Not the white culture, not the Mexican culture, black culture, the dominant one. Right. So if you've used it all the way, you took these same Negroes and sacrificed them, told on them. Shadi was bad. Some of them robbed you, but a lot of them didn't. A lot of them were standing by your side like loyal soldiers. Dummies, the, uh, the dumb Negroes, it is what it is. Now they're doing 20, 40 years. Why, well, you get to come out and still play gangster? No, don't still play gangster. You went through what you went through. You got a moral responsibility to the same black kids that the next generation, not this one. You owe them to tell them the truth about this gang lifestyle. You should be advising them to stay away from it, not promote it to them. Not play, not, not see some, not see a black man die and come up and try to play. Ha ha. Passed away over waffles. It's not funny. It would never be funny. 
It's not cool. That's not gangster. You get no cool points for that. Anyone that likes that, please unfollow me. Please block me before I block you. And just to show you how much of a not gangster you are, how much of a snitch you are, how much of a rat you are. Again, I'm a civilian. Your own girlfriend. Who calls the police on their own girlfriend? Listen, I don't care if it's 2022. I don't care if it's 2025. I've had girlfriends that beat me up before. Yes, I did. Domestic violence. Whoa, whoa. They beat me up. I had my one girlfriend. I almost said her name here, but I won't. She beat me up. Did I beat her up back? Of course not. I did hold her hand. <laughs> That's a sticker. I did hold her hand when she beat me up. I was like, stop it. And then we would turn into fun time. But that's none of your business. Either way, one thing you will never see me do is call the police or even press charges on my own girlfriend. She is not shoddy. Your own girlfriend? Who calls the cops on his own girlfriend? I can't defend that, bruh. Maybe shoddy, I get it. They robbed you, whatever. Your life is on the line, but your own. Listen, I don't know how the relationship will continue going forward, given the fact that you snitched <laughs> on your own girlfriend. Even if I'm with my own girlfriend in public and she chooses to act stupid and beat me up in public, which is not okay. But let's say it happened. And the cops come to arrest her. Sir, do you want to press charges? We're going to take... I'll be like, no, no, no. This is just us playing. Even if we're not playing, I would save her from, 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 from the pigs. Because that's my girlfriend. The government shouldn't come between me and my girlfriend, even if she beat me up. I'm a man. I can take a beating. And I've took beatings from her. It is what it is. No, I didn't beat her back, which you've done, 6 9 And no, I wouldn't call the police on her, which you did, 6 9 Or maybe you didn't call her, but you allowed her to get arrested in front of you and spend the, the, the night in a box, in a bin. What you can't, you, you don't even wear the pants in your own household, yet you're trying to wear the pants online when PMB Rock passes away. A black man who, as far as I know, People say PMB was a gang, but it was not the Bloods. Even if it was a gang, it was not the Bloods. It might have been a music gang, like SODMG, Soldier Boy Gang. It wasn't the Bloods, it wasn't the Crips, it wasn't MS-13, 6 9 So before you open your pothole to speak on the passing of another black man again, or weigh in on black issues with nothing but negativity, realize that you're a civilian and as a matter of fact, as someone like you, a, a, a parasitic culture vulture who, if it wasn't for black culture, you would be nowhere right now. The Mexicans didn't make you famous. Right or wrong? The Mexicans didn't make you famous. When I look at Gummo, I don't see Cholos and essays behind you. All I see is black people. The same black people doing 40 years, 20 years because you ratted. Right or wrong? So you owe it to black people. You owe it to their sons. Maybe not Trayways guys' sons, but you owe it to the same culture, the next generation of it, to lead them far from the hellfire and not directly into it. You are not a big tough guy. You are not a wise guy. You are not some big mafia boss. So stop coming on Instagram and playing this tough guy character no one believes. Maybe... A, a, a 12 year old sitting in Mexico thinks you're tough. I don't. You owe it to the people to lead them far away from it. And I would respect that, but I don't respect what you're doing. Hit the like button, smash the subscribe button. It's your boy AK, man. I speak the truth at all costs. I don't care what the streets think of me. He's a federal informant. With that being said, I'll see you in the next one, man. You are now watching AK Debris on YouTube. Make sure to click the like button 
smash the subscribe button and leave a comment for the algorithm.